welcome back to problem 1231. Um, <clears throat> so in this problem we're going to be determining the acceleration when um, you know this car passes point B. Okay and we're given some conditions at A right and then um, we're given some other stuff. So we know let's let's write down the givens. So we know the radius of curvature here is 300 meters. Okay what is I guess let's do this after um, what else we we have the speed at position a is 25 meters per second okay what else do we know we know acceleration or a tangential acceleration is minus 0 0.001 s okay this key whenever they give you an acceleration or velocity with respect to uh, some spatial coordinate we should be thinking chain rule, right? So right here, um, we should, or before the chain rule, I guess, let's find what the, the tangential acceleration is at point B, right? So in order to do that, we need to know what S is at point B, right? And that's going to be this displacement over here, okay? So if, if you're kind of confused with how to calculate that, Right, we know it's s equals r theta, right? Some radial displacement. I guess not radial. Uh, I guess it's like it's angular displacement, maybe. But uh, let's let's do this. So we know that radius is going to be th 300 meters, right? So what's going to be theta, right? When we think about this, just think back what the circumference of a circle is. Circumference of a circle. Is 2 pi r okay and why is it 2 pi because you go around the entire circle right in this case we're doing a quarter circle right so we're doing a pi over 2 right because 180 is pi 90 degrees is going to be pi over 2 all right so this is one this is one form that you can kind of remember how to calculate that just think back of think back on the um, uh, the circumference of a circle equation all right. Um, so this gives me 150 pi. All right. So if I want to calculate the tangential tangential acceleration at point B, we're just going to do that. We're going to plug it in here, right? Because they already give me the equation with, with respect to position pi, right? And then when I plug this in to my calculator. You should get minus 0.47 meters per second squared, or you know, it might be like radians per second squared, but we know it's um, it's gonna be meters per second squared. All right. Um, okay, so we have one slice of this, right? Because we're trying to get a t squared plus a n squared. All right. Now, if you think you know how to proceed, pause the video, and try to do it yourself. If not, let's keep going. So now to get the normal component, we know it's v squared over rho, right? So it's going to be v b squared over 300. And here is our problem. We need to calculate this. Well, I guess, I guess we need to calculate this, v b. All right, in order to do that, we're going to look at AT, so we know my acceleration, right, is dV dt. So like I mentioned earlier, we got to think chain rule, so we got to do dV ds, ds dt, right, which becomes V dV ds. And now we can actually solve those integrals, right. We know acceleration is minus 0.001 s equals v dv ds and then when we solve this differential equation right let's let's look at the limits so it's going to be from 0 to so the final displacement is at 150 pi 
here it's going to be my velocity initially is at 25 meters per second and it ends at VB alright so let's let's continue let's do it right here so this ends up becoming minus 0 0.001 s squared divided by 2 all right. oh yeah evaluated at 0 and 150 pi right so I typically I you know I skip these steps because I assume you kind of know how to evaluate the integrals right um, if there's a lot of concerns or comments that you guys don't know how to do that I'll, I'll keep I'll, I'll begin doing that in the next videos and then here I have V squared over 2 25 and V B all right kind of running out of room here so uh, once we expand this whole thing or once we evaluate everything we're gonna end up getting V B is 20.07 ish meters per second Oof, cutting it closer all right and this is crucial right this is key this VB because now we can go back to our AN equation our normal component of velocity or, or of, of acceleration and plug it in 0 0.07 squared okay and then let's see what does this give us so we might have to plug it into the calculator so let's do 20.07 20 20.07 divided by 300 right and then we we get 1.34 meters per second squared okay now now here we have our you know our tangential acceleration or our tangential component of acceleration our normal component of acceleration and now we can just get the full acceleration which it'll be 0.471 squared plus 1.34 squared okay I remember like I said I usually don't put the negative in there just because it's gonna um, it's gonna get cancelled out because you're gonna square it all right so let's do that so that squared plus 0.471 squared and then uh, square root of all this so let's uh, I think it's this one so we get 1.42 meters per second oof some of these problems you know I like to do these problems without preparation just like how I would proceed doing it with um, you know if I saw this problem right away right so that way you guys kind of see my methodology and, and my way of thinking all right so hopefully that you know I usually don't use this calculator over here um, you know Mac calculator but my calculator died my handy my handy dandy calculator so you know if there's an error here I apologize but um, yeah, so the main thing is getting these two components, um, AN, right, and then AT, okay. All right, guys, hope this video helped. Uh, hope you guys are more comfortable setting up your problems. Always write down your givens um, and then begin chipping away at the, at the solution, okay. Thanks for your time, guys. I appreciate it.